Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to make a video on the new Realm of Shadows and this is going to be the gear guide going over all nine new pieces of gear added in this raid. If you guys want a guide on how to do the raid itself, I recommend you check out my last video on it. And also big thanks to both Derek and Sakura for helping me get all the missing pieces of gear I did not have so I can make this video as fast as possible for you guys. So let's get right into the gear. So first off, there is one more item that will be coming out soon that is a ring it's not quite out yet once he's done with the world boss side of things it will release when that happens i'll make a video going over it so the first piece of gear we're going to talk about is the plate from the depth so this is an armor piece that has dropped from both shadow chest and also the boss himself it does 270,500 attack no crit 16 speed 30 defense and 123,456 hp Overall, this really isn't that good of an armor piece stat-wise. I really do recommend you only pick this thing up for a crafting recipe. There is a very powerful offensive armor we'll go over later in the video that requires this armor piece to craft, so really it's more of a stepping stone piece of gear than a piece of gear being used for the stats itself. It is pretty much worse than most EOT normal stuff. So next we're going to talk about the new weapon known as Shadow Link. This is a very very powerful sword, in fact the third most powerful sword in the game and it does 3 million attack. So this sword I very much so recommend everybody goes for. Not only is it required for a very powerful crafting recipe as well, it is just strong in general. If you do not have infinity, go for this because honestly it's a little bit easier to get this in nihility almost and it is so much better. Of course infinity is still a little bit stronger, but shadow link is still very very strong. 3 million damage is a lot. So speaking of weapons, I'm going to talk about the new best weapon in the game and this is the Solus. So Solist is the only level 1301 item in this video and in the game itself. Everything else is 1300 that we're going to talk about. Anyways, this does 5,005,000 damage. It is by far the best weapon in the game and it looks amazing and it's also incredibly difficult to make. You must craft it with 1 Infinity, 1 Shadow Link, 1 High Cream Corrupted Sword, 1 Vince Lightsaber, 1 Ice King, and then 1 of Hades Blades, so the Tartarus Hardcore Weapon. This is such a hard crafting recipe. You basically have to get the hardest drop from every single raid up to this point starting from Tartarus and then fuse them all together to craft it. One piece of advice I have for you guys is try to trade for these items as soon as you can. These will become very expensive on the marketplace and I do recommend you start farming for it. It is very much so worth crafting. You do need to get the hardcore drop infinity from EOT as well. So Solus is not easy to make at all, but I do recommend everybody goes for it. So next I'm going to talk about the two new aura drops. So both the rays of light and then the other shadow aura that drops from the new realm of shadows, the shadow curse aura. Both of these have the exact same stats of 1,500 attack, 10 crit, 10 speed, 10 defense, and 10 HP. So these are the best auras in the game. They of course require no level. They can be traded as well. The Ray of Light one just looks a lot cooler and drops from EOT Hardcore. And then the Shadow Curse Aura is a little bit easier to get because it isn't dropped from that hard of a raid. I do recommend you guys all go for this. The second best uh, aura in the game I'd say is Fireworks. This one is basically just Fireworks with a little bit more damage and is very good overall. Now let's talk about the Armor Piece of Malice Defense. So this is an armor that drops from both chests and then the boss as well. It does 18,000 attack, no crit, no speed, 5 defense, and 890,000 HP. Again, this really isn't that powerful of an armor. This is more of a stepping stone piece of gear that's used for crafting. This can be used if you don't want to lose speed while going for a tanky setup. But again, there is going to be better options out there. There is better options from EOT and EOT Hardcore. So really, only go for this if you are trying to craft the ultimate defense armor that I will cover soon in this video. Now, let's go over the new ring. It is a little confusing because it's called the Necklace of Cursed Flames, but it does actually equip in your ring slot. This does 75,000 attack, 5 crit, 5 speed, no defense, and 666,666 HP. I'm not sure if this ring is supposed to be a necklace because it's literally called a necklace, but it is equipped in the ring slot at the time of this video. 
Now for how hard it is to make it is very interesting and I will say this, at the bottom it says normal attacks have a 10% chance of inflicting a curse debuff. I'm not quite sure what the curse debuffs do. Also the released energy of space also says it does that and I still have no idea quite what that does yet. Comment down below if you do. Anyways, the way you craft this is you need one of the shadow pendants from the shadow zone in the starting area, you need one gravity pendant, you need one of the hive necklaces, and then you need three of each of the new crafting materials. So that's going to be three shadow hearts and then three lingering malices, which are very hard to get. And in my opinion, for how hard this item is to get, it kind of isn't worth it because it is very weak for how difficult it is to craft. Now let's get into pretty much the two best pieces of gear that currently, at least armor wise in the game. So first we're going to talk about true neutral. So true neutral is going to be your ultimate defensive armor in the game. This is level required 1300 of course, you get 200,000 attack, 10 crit, minus 9 speed, 65 defense, and 2.2 million HP. So this is the new best tanking armor in the game. It is basically the rain made on steroids. It is an amazing piece of gear. It does have a very difficult crafting recipe. You're gonna need one of the new pieces of gear known as the Malice of the Fence. You're gonna need two of the hearts. You're gonna need three of the malices. You're gonna need one raiment from EOT and you're gonna need one uh, frost plate from Frost Dragon Hardcore. This is kind of a difficult crafting recipe, but when it comes to some of the other ones, it isn't too bad overall. It is fantastic for tanking. It may even be effective with Soul Rune because you get so much HP again. I do not have this yet, so I cannot test that strategy out. Once I get true neutral, it will be amazing to see if it makes the Soul Rune amazing again, because you just get so much health from it. And also release did get buffed all the way up to 2 million HP. So you can get around 90 million max HP, which is a lot. Now, the final piece of gear we're gonna talk about in this video is gonna be the armor of otherworldly power. This is a very, very powerful crafted armor that is hard to make as well. Anyways, it gives 999,999 attack, 15 crit, 15 speed, 30 defense, and 700,000 HP. This is easily the best armor in the game overall for any of your offensive runes. It is basically a cape of pressure, but even stronger. So the way you craft this is going to be through the other armor. You can get drop the plate from the depth. You're going to also need one of the hardened nectar armors from Hardcore Hive. You're going to need two of the hearts, three of the malices, and then one cape of pressure. So overall, this is a pretty difficult piece of gear to craft. You do have to do Hardcore EOT and Hardcore Hive to get the stuff for it. So do make sure you save your armor pieces so you can make this, but it is worth it. It looks amazing and it makes your stats incredibly powerful, especially when combined with the new Soulist weapon. So overall, those are all of the new gear pieces for this update. A lot of them are very strong. Some of them are a little underwhelming, but the point of this update wasn't to make all of our old gear bad. It was to give us a couple of new options to use while adding stepping stone pieces of gear as well. I'm very, very happy with this update. Comment down below what piece of gear you think is the best overall. I'm going to go with the Soulist because it is just ridiculous with that 5 million attack. And I'm just very, very happy with these crafting recipes. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Leave a like if it helped you out. Comment down below what you want to see next, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.